Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now hopefully we are live on the 7 Deadly Sins YouTube channel for a bit of a cheeky later night live stream. It's 9 o'clock here in England, and we're going to go for a bit of free-to-play Chapter 7, because I need to get, uh, what is it, Episode 131 unlocks the ability to increase a character's level to 75. So that's something we need to do, man, but we got to get through the Albion, we got to get through Gallant, uh, and we got to get through Gotha as well. So I'm looking forward to it, man. It should be hopefully a pretty good time, but what is up, LP, Midstar, Johnny, hopefully you're doing well. And also, because this is a second run of Chapter 7, we did a, um, uh, a main stream on the main channel with all the cutscenes if you want to see them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be skipping the cutscenes and the dialogue today, man. Just because there is a, there's a lot to get through, man. There's definitely a lot to get through. So let's, uh, let's go for it. I think we uh, go down to the wall, right, and fight this uh, this incredibly handsome fellow right here. Damn, dude, chat, chat just blew up. Hopefully you're all doing well this evening. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I'm excited to see... I'm a bit nervous about the Gotham, man. I'm not really too sure if we're going to be able to deal with him. Uh, I think if we get roadblocked by anybody, it is going to be that ghost, uh, but we'll uh, we'll see when it comes to it. Okay, so do we just go straight and fight the Albion now? Oh, we get three tickets. Oh, I didn't know you get three tickets, man. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Like, I got a friggin' Escanor <laughs> dupe from one of those tickets the other day. Dude, this friggin' scene is awesome though, man. I really, really like it. Right, let's get stuck in. Yo, what's up, Steve? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you very much for the $2 soup chat, bro. I certainly do appreciate it. Okay, so we've got to bring in a Merlin. And we got to bring in a Meliodas as well. Um, okay, I think... I, I, don't, I don't have, like, any copy of Merlin, so I need to bring her in. So let's, uh, let's chuck her in that slot, I reckon. And then, um... On the sub, who are we going to go for here? I think we need to chuck in... Oh yeah, that Meliodas is already there, which is fantastic. So let's put in the uh, Arthur Synergy here. And then, do I want Escanor? I can't use King, right? So it's probably Deanne that I've got to use. So I'm just going to quickly move some gear over uh, to Deanne. I think if I quickly swap one set that I got on Elizabeth and then swap that around with Escanor because that's my best set at the moment, man. I've invested like quite a lot in like two attack sets because I know how important having like a couple of good attack sets is. But look at that 10k attack on the Escanor boys. We're getting there, man. Yo, what is up, Patrick? Thank you very much for the $10 super chat, bro. Certainly do appreciate it. But Steve, thank you very much for the, the PayPal as well the other day, dude. Mad, mad love. The support is real, lads. Right, let's get you up there, Patrick, as our blubberiest whale of the day. That $10 super chat, my dude, you've just been ruling the top of that screen recently. Right, there we go, mate. Okay, so I think that's good for the first of the Albions. I think we have to find, like, three different Albions, man. They're all a little bit menacing, but I reckon Escanor is just going to smack them up. At least from my story experience so far on the free to play account, like Escanor's just like he seems to be like a better version of Green Meliodas. So I'm interested to see if he's going to be in like that, uh, what is it, that 10 free uh, multi banner we're going to get for 100 day. Because, dude, if you can get that like really quick and really easy, bro, it might be a crazy time for new players and re rollers. There's a, uh, a chance to get Escanor in that one. Okay, yes, yeah, so we, we actually can't uh, rush up alts here. This Merlin hasn't been released yet. I don't know what our cards are. Uh, okay, so I think we just go for this, this. I'm going to try, try a Merlin card and see what it does. Fine, we're just nuking into his stomach here. Mm. What, does the, what does the upgraded skill do? Allows the use of only attack skills for one turn. Okay, so it's um kind of like Red Slaters, right? Uh, it needs to be silver. I don't know. I don't know how like practical that's going to be in a lot of scenarios. I think I th I think they've got her on JP, and I don't think she's that great on JP. But I may be incorrect, man. Oh, thank you very much, Emma. Yo, DK, hopefully you're doing well. Mad love once again to Steve. Yeah, bro, we built a, um, again, kind of the main focus, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, in terms of sets you want to build, two good attack sets, bro. 
So I ha I've kind of neglected like my other sets, but we've got some good R gear. We've got uh, like a pretty nice bracelet. We've got like a, a five star one. It's got like 10% attack. Has some decent rolls. Nowhere near like the, the level of the main whale account, but it's enough to give Eskinor like a fair bit more firepower man. And then we also have a, a, set, a set on Gotha as well uh, for the association, just to bring them up even more. But the set on Gotha, I, I think it's barely upgraded, man. Just a little bit of a bonus there. But also Gotha's um, upgraded to like UR level 60. And uh, I think it's got a couple of awakening levels in him as well, just to further boost up the attack. How do you farm gold? So you want to this coming weekend, bro? You want to also farm the Red Book stage, the highest difficulty one in Fort Solgress, for as much time as you possibly can. And if you can do that, bro, set up a good farming team that can easily auto it. It's crazy the amount of gold you get. But I think we've got some videos on gold farming and going in a, into a little bit more detail on the channel. So type in Seaton, how to get gold. I think uh, it should come up. Fairly quickly. So we only need Meliodas for this one, right? So I just think I think I'll bring in like a somebody else's Gotha here. Let's bring in that. Let's go for this. Oh, thank you very much, Arda. Finally got Demon Meliodas. Congratulations, man. How's it going? The free to play experience. Am I gonna keep up the recap videos? Yeah, of course. A certain milestones like one month, two months. But it's uh it's been really interesting so far. I think, um, what is it as well, like, it is like a lot of, a lot of grinding, a lot of auto farming when it does come to building up a free-to-play account in this game, so there's just a lot of stuff that it's just like, you know, leave the game auto farming, um, for the majority of the day, or doing like daily boss battles, stuff that like really isn't interesting enough to do videos on or live stream on its own, at least in my opinion. Uh, should we upgrade Eskinor? Not really too much point here, actually. I don't think we really need the upgrade cards. <laughs> yeah, maybe Gotha wasn't great to bring here, just because we are... Uh, what is it? Locked, man. I think in terms of positioning as well, I probably need to move uh, Eskinor to the left-hand side. Eskinor's, um... Usually, you want him on, like, the far left-hand side, so you've got a chance to instantly draw into a silver elegant blow. Because then in all sorts of matchups, if you're lucky, you can immediately rush ult. Uh, but not this one, because it doesn't have, um, you know, your ults are disabled. Your ult gauge meter is. Albion's fully immune to debuffs. Green Meliodas is fantastic for this as well. But Eskinor, he's working a treat, man. He's working really nice. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we just go for uh, uh, upgrade double smash win game. Albion boss is awesome, man. Uh, oh no, are we? Is it like buff disabled or something? Buffing. Okay, I guess we can't upgrade. I think we still just go for the damage. We might be able to get him down that turn. Yeah, I think Eskinor's gonna hit hard enough, mate. Ah, oh, perfect, lads, perfect. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Certainly appreciate it. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you've uh, really got into Seven Deadly Sins, bro. I, I, I feel like I remember you asking me about it, like, like a month and a bit ago. You were like, <laughs> should I download the game? It's like, dude, just download it, play it for a little bit, see if it's your cup of tea. Now, bro, I swear, like, every day there's 10 tweets going out about Seven Deadly Sins. Hooked my dude, hooked my dude. So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that you're enjoying it. Oh, super. That is, that is not too bad, mate. Congratulations. What do I think of the PvP team? Um, Arthur, Gotha, Escanor, or King, Gotha, Escanor. Um, I, I don't think, like, Arthur and Escanor don't synergize maybe as well as they should. Just because as soon as Escanor gets to his ultimate, then he loses uh, all buffs. So, it's alright if you're running something like coin food in PvP. Not really, like, it, it can work. I've seen it work. But I don't think it's the absolute uh, best setup out there. But I do need to do a video uh, at some point in the near future on PvP teams. PvP will be very interesting. Yeah, the thing is, like, I can't start PvP stuff until I um, 
uh, get to level 75, and I can't get level 75 until I do episode 131, which I hope we can get to today. I forgot exactly what, um, like, episode that is. I think it's just, like, killing Gotha, or it might be the bit where you get to Matrona. But if anybody in chat knows off the top of their head, that'd be greatly appreciated. But we're probably going to go uh, up until there today, man. Just one second. I need to turn on the AC, man. It's so warm this evening in England. We're in the, the midst of a bit of a heat wave. Oh, dude, this should be a just fantastic clap for Eskinor here. It's got the advantage on this one. Is it 20% bonus damage? So, yeah, we just need to draw lots of Eskinor cards, and we can win. Oh, dude, that's a great merger. I think we just... Um, yeah, we just go for the play that maximizes draw here, I think is the best one to go for. Oh, Merlin can also decrease skill ranks on this dude, which um, is helpful if we need mitigation. But he hasn't got, like, all gold, so I think we'll be fine. See, when's the Arden video coming? Probably at some point next week. Problem is, I can't do any geared PvP videos this week because my range's too high. That I just can't match players anymore. It's really annoying, man. It's really annoying. I, I didn't know if you went high enough in PvP. You literally just can't match players. You just match bots. It is, uh, yeah, a really annoying time, man. But at least I've, I've learned it sooner rather than later. But yeah, I'll have to be at some point like next week or beyond. So yeah, unfortunately that one's uh, a little bit delayed. But I've got Arden, I think, uh, level up quite significantly at the moment. I think he's very close to... Um, uh, being maxed out on the main account. But there we go. The Albion is down. Very, very nice. And then I think we move on to the Galland bit. Actually, I think there might be a bit of a break where we go do the, like, King and Barn uh, side story bit in the forest. With that other uh, very lanky, very tall Albion. All right, let's go for the skip here. Arrive at Camelot. Did I push PvP? Not re really. I'm just, uh, what is it? I'm like silver 2 at the moment. But like, it's really interesting because I remember going up through like bronze and silver on my main account thinking I was always fighting other players. And being like, wow, dude, I'm like the best PvPer. I think most people, like when they start playing PvP in this game, um... They're, they just have like an insane win ratio and they're like, wow, I'm really, really good at PvP. Just because they don't realize the majority of people under gold are just bots. <laughs> and half the time they're on geared bots as well. So it's really good PvP to farm. Um, what is it? Oh, okay, that's nice having green barn and now we'll certainly take that. Are we, uh... Who are we find here? Is it multiple enemies? Okay, yeah, if it's multiple enemies, I'm actually going to switch over to Hauser here. Hauser's just too much of a beast, so let's get uh, a healer on the association. And then we're going to move the, um, what is it, the set from Deanne to Hauser. Because so I remember there being a lot of um, kind of farmy stages around here, so I think Hauser's going to be perfect for those. And then we've got Meliodas, we've got Liz to chuck on the association, perfect. I think we are good to go. Any plans to do a cosmetic video for what I personally brought or what I plan on buying for this free-to-play account? Um, I haven't brought anything on the free-to-play account yet. For my main account, Cosmetics, pretty much just bought everything, bro. But you can have a bit of a look. Uh, on the video that we did earlier, touring the... Um uh, the main team and lineup, uh, we go over pretty much everything that we got there. But it's most of the stuff, in all fairness. But, um... Yeah, I know some characters, there are a few characters that do have so much stuff that it does become a little bit like, okay, what, what exactly do I go for? So yeah, maybe a cosmetics guide at some point in the future, but also I don't have that Japanese uh, version insight of like, what's coming cosmetic-wise as well. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, a little bit uh, uninformed in regards to that. Actually, let's just, go, let's just go for the cleave strategy here, I reckon. Let's get the X store up. We get to loan this level 80 barn. It's very nice. And then, um, 
What do I want to go for here, man? Got some uh, interesting plays. Do we get? Does this get us Eskinol's ult? I think it does. <laughs> that that just lined up like a little bit too perfectly, man. That was really good. Okay, so we got Eskinol's ult if we want it. I think another one of these these goons drops down. <laughs> these have like the funniest models, man. Forgot how. Uh, Goofy these are. Right, I think because we've got so many turns, let's just fire off um... Yeah, just those cards should be enough, I reckon, man. Fingers crossed. Solomon, thank you very much for the uh, the CA $20 Super Chat, sir. Certainly do appreciate it. Stay hydrated seating. Always, my friend. That's the key to life. If you run out of hydration, uh, you die. So, um, it's always a good idea to stay hydrated, but thank you very much. Uh, let me just do the uh, conversion um, on that one. I think that makes you our blobberiest whale of the day with that equivalent $15 super chat. Dude, Solomon, thank you so much, man. I certainly do appreciate it. Absolute mad love just for you, my dude. I will have a um, a swig of water after this. Let me just use Cruel Sun, Eskinol's ultimate, this one. That's why Eskinor's just beast for story, man. He's so good. The best thing is, even if you don't have an Eskinor, man, all you need to do in this game is be friends with somebody that has an Eskinor. Or just, like, ask on the Facebook group or Discord, and then you can always use that person's Eskinor in the story content. And it's just easy game, easy life. So, uh, yeah. A uh, little, little tip, if you didn't already know. Uh, you do have the um, ability to bring in uh, friends characters and all that fun stuff right are we uh out of capital yet dealing with a couple more holy knights there but yeah free to play account pvp videos will be coming but i need to get my characters to level 75 first by getting to episode 131 in pvp am i using bomb because i have to yeah if i have to use a character man i'll just use like the level 81 that the story gives me most of the time so there's a stacked version just use that one though. That's fine. And let's get him in with a king synergy. Why not? It's probably better to actually. It's got some pretty beefy stats there. Best seven deadly sins YouTuber. Oh, there's so many. It depends on your taste, really. sekapoko has got some great information. Nagato has a lot of great JP insight. Like a lot of his PvP videos and showcases. Love Kabuki. Love Critic Alex as well. There's, uh, yeah, there's so many, man. There's probably a hundred plus people. F3000, Childish Plays is pretty cool. Got loads of streamers knocking about. You got Mystic Watch. But yeah, there's just so, so many people that uh, pump out uh, some really good 7 Deadly Sins content. But again, it's all about, like, who's your cup of tea, what kind of stuff you're after. And everybody, uh, everybody certainly has their own preferences. Right, let's go for... Just all the single target, eh? It's a green king here. Dressed as a blue king. So I'm not too sure which king it is actually going to be. I really want to max out this uh, blue barn for a, a showcase at some point, man. Okay, yeah, this is that actual green king. Okay, so he's going to hit hard, man. Oh, we can debuff him, though, so I think we'll use the uh, attack reduction. Is this just going to, like, wreck me? I might need to bring in Red Barn here, actually. Yeah. Um. <laughs> if I survive this, I can win next turn. I don't know if we survive it, though, man. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have the guaranteed crit. Oh. Oh no, come on, you're laughing, mate. What dingus, mate, what dingus. Um, okay, I think we can still do this. Let's just hammer in all the Hauser cards. Hauser, Hauser's still got some more right single target damage, man. Finish off next turn with his ultimate. Still do this. Come on, you had three turns though, bro. Ultimate double follow up. It's a bit rude, mate. Bit rude. 
Looking forward to that like lanky Albion fight though. That one was uh, that one was epic, man. That one was really cool. Let's just go for that. Sorted, lads. Sorted. Should I hold my gems for the next banner? New player. If you're a new player, I probably go for like two summons on the Lilia one, just because when you go to the second one, then you get an entire eleven summon multi for one gem. So it's worth going for two on that. But aside from that, you probably want to hold. Uh, until like a really really hyped character comes out because green lilia uh from what i've seen is is pretty trash like uh, i think a lot of youtubers that did some of uh uh struggled to make her work in pvp <laughs> she really just doesn't seem that good she seems okay if you can combo her with like a hard hitting ult um but i don't know man i i was watching some showcases i wasn't i wasn't too uh impressed by the character herself but again, she's not really known to be the good one. Apparently, the uh, uh, what is it? The blue Lilia is the the real spice man, the real good character. Right? Okay, we've got to use that barn there. So let's just chuck that one in. Go for King on the Association here, and let's uh, start. Yeah, blue blue demon Melly comes out. Apparently, he's like the the tits man. He's what the one you want to summon for. Final Boss King PTSD. Bro, I love Final Boss King, man. I really hope we get a new Final Boss King announced soon. It'd be amazing if uh, there was a one announced um, uh, like just before next week's update. That'd be so good, bro. Because we've had like a, a two-week break from next Tuesday since the last Final Boss. So if they want to do one like every month, man, yeah, you know, who knows? Might hopefully see that. I don't know if my expectations are too um, high there, but yeah, Final Boss King was great. I just, uh, I just want him back, man. Just want him back. Alright, let's go for that. Then next turn, hopefully you can draw one Escanor card, and hopefully Escanor doesn't die, and then we just rush Escanor's ult and win. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's like really annoying, isn't she? Because she just is constantly healing up. So I think Arthur's a good character to bring in here potentially. But I think if we go for Eskinor Zol and then have some follow-up prepared. I think we go for this. Oh, that was a great crit, man. Uh, we don't really have great follow-up here, in all fairness. Merge a silver charge, but that's about it. Oh, okay. She she's got a little bit of damage on her, man. A little bit, a little bit of damage going on. Okay, let's go for that. Escanor Zolt. Escanor Zolt win game. It's, a strategy does work majority of the time. Okay, so we chuck the bottle. Ooh. Need to draw two Escanor cards to win. We got one Escanor card. Hmm. Okay, Blue Barn is dead. Oh no, maybe we draw more Escanor cards now, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let's go for it, man. Yeah, Double Smack's gonna get the job done. Easy, mate, easy. Well... That worked out incredibly nicely. I remember her being a um, a little bit annoying. I think the counter Meliodas that we had, the green Meliodas, worked really, really good for her as well. But uh, yeah, freaking Escanor, man. Absolute single target beast mode character. Do I try to avoid spoilers uh, from JP about characters? Not really. Um, I pay like, uh, I watch like the showcases and stuff, but it's obviously, um, you know, like watching JP PvP is a little bit, um, it's a little bit weird just because there are, there are so many new characters in play that aren't on global. So sometimes there's like a fair bit to take in, um, when you're not familiar with like all the interactions and stuff. But I think the more I watch uh, JP PvP, kind of the more I understand, you know, what's going on and 
you know, what all the characters do and that stuff. I remember like the first time I was watching it, man, you know, <laughs> when I just started playing global, it's like, these characters look crazy. But then you watch a certain showcase, you know, start figuring out what a unit does and you're like, oh, okay, that's, that's really cool. Yo, what's up, Kabuki? Hopefully you're doing well, man. Nice to see you knocking about in chat this evening. JP PvP trash. We got seating on global. Relax. Dude, global PvP is the dominant PvP. Everybody knows that, man. It's the, the best PvP server out there at the moment. It's got the PvP legends on. Like, JP? Does JP have Kabuki, bro? I don't think so, man. They're Kabuki-less. That's not a... Uh, not a world I want to live in, my dude. Yo, what's up, Knight? Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Love that you're doing 7.30 since content, bro. What food do I run on my house at Arthur, Ghost, the Twigo team in PvP? Geared and ungeared? Uh, usually coin food, my dude. Like, coin food, if you want to um, uh, just, you know, farm coins, is like a really, really good food to run with that team. However, uh, what is it? Actually, let's, let's go for this, man. See if this, this play is going to work out for us. Um, but yeah, coin food most of the time. But if you want to go first to control certain matchups, uh, then CC food, you can also run with that team. But you don't really need any specific food to make that team work, which is really nice. But also against like Kingbra matchups, if you do run CC food, you can very often go first. And then like, uh, what is it? Like one out of three times, you're instantly going to have that... Um, uh, you know gold buff and then you can just win the game so that uh you know that works out very very nicely but yeah thank you very much knight for the five dollar super chat i certainly do appreciate it but mono red dude mono red is a hot team right now man a really really good team it counters a lot of the uh uh eskinor hauser or eskinor gotha king bursty teams if played well and also it also if you get a little bit lucky as well Bro, I can't wait for you to rock that insane pierce rate gear on Demon Melly, dude. I'm excited, man. I was watching Second's video uh, earlier, and he was saying that um, I, I think it's a little bit different on JP because they have the UR engravement gear, but he runs attack because apparently blue Demon Melly teams, at least on JP, are very reliant on going first. But uh, I, I think we'll see. You know, I've got a little bit of whale power, a little bit of CC. Maybe if we um, go for like, I don't know pierce rate stuff and cc food maybe that's the way to go but i i do want to see like the maximum damage it's kind of got to be done you know i don't know if there's like uh any merit to running like blue melee and house are on the same team like the like a super heavy cleave team <laughs> i i think i'm gonna have to build some more pierce rate sets though man but i'm looking forward to it dude i'm very very excited i can't wait for that red escanor as well bro so many characters coming up, I just uh, ecstatic for. How much of the anime I've watched? I've watched uh, the first like two proper seasons. I know it's like a little bit confusing on Netflix because they've got the transitionary transitionary ones, like three episodes of season two, but like you know, season one, two, and three by Netflix standards. But not actual season three that's been released with the uh, the questionable animation. Okay, so we go. Is is there one more here? Oh yeah, this is the uh, the lanky Albion here. We fight with um, Red King. So let's go for it, man. I remember this fight. This fight was like it's pretty simple, man, but it's also pretty cool <laughs> at the same time. Oh yeah, dude. Like we we've we've got a beefy set at the moment. This guy has incredibly long arms. Kind of looks a bit like Slenderman, 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 Slenderman. That's it. <laughs> I thought uh, just because I was thinking about Slenderman, uh, it just popped up in my head as Slenderman instead of Albion. Okay. Uh, what what deals? Everything's AOE, right? Okay, so we... Oh, we can't rush out either, so... Yeah, I think we just try and merge the cards there. It's really just spam the king cards. Nice. Not a bad first turn at all. Uh, 
I heard, uh, what is it? Doesn't, if, if Lilia dies, doesn't Dean Meliodas lose that pierce rate, though? She needs a pretty, uh, beefy, um... Gosh, what is it? Health set to keep her alive? I think that's what Seko was saying in this video earlier. But yeah, I think we'll see how the, the meta on global uh, shakes up again. We, we can, like, build any gear set that's needed. But I remember in Seko's video earlier, he was kind of breaking down, like, all the reasons why you might want particular gear sets. I was like, oh, okay, I'll I'll drop that down, man. I'll keep that in mind for later. He should add this guy in as like a boss battle, man. <laughs> like a death match. Or a cool, some sort of like hyper stack event boss. They got so many like epic fights that they make in this game that they just really like only use like once it's like you went to the effort to make this giant man got this cool little forest scene man just smash the cards on king <laughs> i like the way he topples over though but there we go oh ssr pendant that's always uh very very welcome i think we do we go back to camelot now i think this is going so much quicker now that we're how uh, old is it just skimming through the cutscenes. Okay, so it's like a a health set with Pierce on as well with Lilia. Ah, uh, but enough attacks so you never get patience. Fair play, man. Fair play. Sounds like a, a a bit to balance, but she certainly seems like uh, at least from what I've heard, a character that's you know well investing in her own uh, unique set of gear. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to see if she lives up to the hype, bro, for sure. Um. Do you just want to bring, like, Demon Meliodas there? I'm just going to get this one on loan, I think. I think we'll chuck this Liz in. And then let's just uh, get a loaned Demon Meliodas, because he is ridiculously OP. And then, um, barn on the sub here. And then let's go for... Is Deanne on the sub here? Cool, I just want the heals from, uh... Red Liz, just to keep us topped up. Yo, what's up, Limelight? Thank you very much for the $2 super chat, sir. Certainly do appreciate it. Love from New Jersey. Your content helps so much. Thank you very much. I'm glad uh, glad you enjoy it. Glad it helps you out. And thank you very much for the uh, the support. Mad, mad love there. Any summons today? Not today. Not till, um, uh, what is it, next Tuesday onward. If you want to be hella cheeky, level up Blue Hendrickson for her link. Dude, I've already got that maxed out Blue Hendrickson, son. 6'6". Six, six. Uh, dude, people call me a madman for maxing out Hendrickson. Ahead of the game, mate. Ahead of the game. 500 IQ strats right there. But I remember the, the Blue Hendrickson PvP video. It was painful, man. He is, he is absolute cheeks. He is really uh, a bit of an abomination to play. I think we got Hauser on the team. I just can't really be bothered to take him off, but we'll just play around the Hauser cards. <laughs> we can debuff this Gallon, bro, so we're, we're laughing. They stick on him as well, right? D did he shrug off one of them? Hmm. Oh, I, actually, I think we can go for this play, man. This is probably the the best one at our disposal. Just because then next turn we get Dean Meliodas' ultimate for a guaranteed KO. Oh, now he's immune to stuff. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, obviously, uh, it's because we got the coerce on uh, Meliodas, of course. So we need to combo with... Uh, Escanor next turn. This guy, this guy's got a bit of damage on him, man. But I think we just go for this. This gets rid of the buffs. Uh, then we slap in the alt there, and that should do the job.
Yeah, perfect, mate. Perfect. Oh, dude, the carrot alone's like already pretty good, but when it gets to the <laughs> the like level eighty cat man, it's just gonna be even more stupidly OP. But again, if you are struggling as a newer player in this game, all you need to do is find a friend on Reddit, Discord, anything like that. Just somebody to add so you can borrow their characters, man. And you'll you're laughing, mate. You're laughing. Who was the who was the reason? Uh Hendrickson was the reason you quit your free-to-play account. I spent most of my gems getting his outfits. Oh gosh, rough time, man. A rough time for sure. I'm really, um, really hesitant to spend gems on any outfits on the free-to-play account. I feel like I need to, uh, you know, decide a hundred percent who's going to be my. Um... Oh, actually, should we go for Matrona Deanne here? I think so. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's bring in. Oh, not that Hauser Association. That one. Perfect. Yeah, I I feel like uh, until I can figure out exactly. Um, oh no, I meant to put Meliodas on that. Sorry, man. Brain's getting a little bit confused here. Okay, let's go back. Put Matrona on. Associations quick. Having to juggle around these characters. There we go. Get the Liz in there. We are good to go. So yeah, sorry, as I was saying a minute ago, I feel like I don't want to spend any money on cosmetics until I the, the meta settles down like a little bit, and then I'm at a point where I can like fully upgrade it one PvP team, you know, get the cosmetics, um, slap on CC food. Like at the moment, if I was going to grind PvP right now and make a push at a gear disadvantage, especially in Elite, I'd 100% go mono red. But the thing is, I'm worried about investing in mono red too much on my free-to-play account at the moment just due to the fact that like i don't know what kind of impact like blue lilia and blue demon meliodas are gonna have on mono red meta at the moment you know <laughs> it's like if i invested like everything into uh getting a mono red team up right now and then like next week we get lilia then yeah, it might, it might be a bad time. I still think there's there's probably like, like still a month in mono red right now, but my gear's also like not on the stage to get elite PvP. So I kind of need to, you know, wait for the right time to make a, a good push on that one. Um what do we go for here? I think we just want to try and maximize draw, I think. Kinda like that play. But if you do have access to it right now, Mono Red's, Mono Red's great. It's really, really good for PvP. But I don't know. don't know how that's going to change in the future. Get the limited cosmetics because they never come back for gems. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. The super limited ones. Are there any, like, super limited ones at the moment? Like, most of the, what is it, the cash bundles, they do come back a, uh, uh, what is it, a week uh, or so later, right? Is that going to be enough to get him down? I think it might be. <laughs> oh, perfect, man. Perfect. How much spent in 7 Deadly since the date on my main account? I think my main account's been about... um. Gosh. Uh, I think after the slime event. I don't know. I think it's been about 5.5k or something like that. On my whale account now, maybe a bit less than that. It's between like five and five point five k. Because I'm just trying to think. I think it's about four point six when we did the account tour at the start of the month, and then I've done like um, I think I brought like six hundred dollars worth of actual gems for the slime banner. I also had some as well. Now on top of that, I brought some anvil bundles. So yeah, I, th I think it's around like 5.5k, but a buttload, my friend, a buttload is how much we've spent on the main account. Ooh, bringing Blue Slater here. Is he the only required one? Let's try to have a gallon boss, bro. Let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. When I think Training Cave will come out, I'm not entirely too sure. I think uh, at some point in the next uh, one to three weeks, though.
Ah, mono red might not be a bad idea since red king counts as pierce rate. Fair play, man. Fair play. I like the despite whatever happens in the meta, there's always like a new character that comes in to like, you know, counter a certain uh, strategy. It's one of the things I, I freaking love about this game, man. There's, uh, there's just so much that goes on. But yeah, what does that Red King do? Does he, he stops like any pierce rate uh, benefits or something like that? I know, I know he's pretty good for countering those teams. I, I've heard that uh, from a few people before. Okay, right. Can we rush Eskinol's on next turn? Yeah, should be easy. I think we just go for a. We should go for a merger. What do we get for the damage? I think I'm just going to go for the play that gets me slightly more damage. The next turn, alt win game. I don't want to see Seed's gear once he gets hammers, bro. I am so excited for hammers, man. I can't wait, bro. I'm, your, your gear's not looking too bad, bro. I saw you in the, uh, the what was it, Dishonor rankings. I think we're one and two at the moment. I think your best team's got 177k, if I <laughs> remember correctly. So, yeah. Got a little bit of blubber on you, Kaboot. Secret blubber right there. Spent 900 gems for one Eskinor. Oh, dude, that's a, a little bit rough. At least you got Eskinor, though, bro. I know people uh, that spent 2,000 plus gems and didn't manage to get Eskinor. Horrible, horrible time, man. That's why I, I freaking love the step up banners in this game. We need, we need more, bro. You cheated. Did you? Use, can you use CC food for that ranking, man? What was the what was the cheat? <laughs> well, I thought some blue Lizhawk and Arthur control team. I really like it, man. That's one of my favorite teams to um, uh, run is blue Lizhawk, uh, Arthur Gotha. I think it works really really well. It's got a lot of utility. So yeah, I th I think it's a great team personally, Ben. If you enjoy playing that team, highly recommend it. I think it's got utility to deal with all sorts of stuff. And also, uh, what is it, Liz Hawk is definitely one of the more tanky blue characters when it comes to uh, taking a battering from Eskinor first turn. But the thing is, against Eskinor, bro, if your opponent has like three Eskinor cards, uh, you know, most characters struggle to live. You use green Grimoire with a health set. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's that's god level hacks right there, man. God level hacks. No, uh, very cool, man. Very cool. I need to play around with the other characters and see. I just registered like my main team, man. But I think there's uh, there's other stuff we could do to get a, a bit more. I started playing Eskinor when Eskinor came out. I got in with 60 gems. Oh, dude. That is, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy, man. I got him in uh, 120 gems on the free-to-play account, but in 60 gems? That's mad, bro. That's mad. Can I recommend a good setup for Coin Shop Barn? Um, like, the probably the best setup when it comes to, like, elite PvP is, like, um... Uh, what is it? Green Barn, Hauser, King is the the kind of standard uh, team for that character. I'm just trying to think who I want to use here. I think we have Liz on the sub slot here. Or actually, we just put in the Liz Hawk. Let's go for the Liz Hawk, man. I don't think we've got any bosses for a while, so let's chuck in Gil Thunder. And then let's. Uh... She already got a gear set on. I can power up her ult move a bit more. Yeah, she does have a gear set on. My, my only two, like, really big attack sets are on, um, uh, what is it, Hauser and Eskinor, though. If we upgrade this, go for the upgrade again, that's a really nice bonus, man. It's Green Lizhawk, she's so good for farming. And, uh, she can be alright for PvP, she's not quite as good as Hauser, but she's alright with, like, a pierce rate set. Alright, let's go for the full refill there, man. 
I think they're starting a free-to-play account on the JP server. If you want to, man. Now, apparently, it's a pretty good time. So, yeah, it's up to you, dude. Depends if you got time to keep up, uh, you know, both accounts. But, hey, global pandemic, quarantine lockdown for most people. You know, there's a big surplus of time going around. Got Escanor on your third pull. Oh, dude, you got Escanor animation with four SSRs. Oh, shut the front door, man. That is ridiculous. Huge congratulations, bro. But that's that's a little bit too lucky, man. Four SSRs. I don't know if I've ever got four SSRs in a single one. I think I've got like three max before. But four is definitely uh, definitely a big rarity, my friend. Definitely a massive rarity. <laughs> Gonna assume that was mud. I think we move this card on Hauser, then use both Hauser cards just to rush Hauser's ult, because then next turn we can just Hauser ult and kill all of them. And then another wave comes down. Do we have a way to rush Escanor's ult? I think we actually do as well. I think if we go for this, this, and then Hauser's ult. I think one more big one drops down. I'm not too sure if he's on his own or has a wave. Yeah, maybe maybe how so <laughs> bit bit wasted on a single target there. Okay, is it just one big one or does he have some friends? Oh no, he has some friends, yeah. Ah well. Let's uh go for the the big nuke on that man and go for that and then straight into this. Hmm. Okay, that's not a bad turn. I think we get one of them down next turn. Have a, a, a fair bit more health than the first wave by the look of it. I think we'll go for this one. And just keep up the uh, the cleave damage. Right, so we've got Hauser's Ultima. I think we um, double crawl sun Hauser's Ultima. Should be the the winning play. Actually, maybe not double crawl sun. Maybe we're going for this gold card. Sorted, mate. Sorted. What is considered high CC in ungeared PvP? Um, 105 to 110k plus is high CC. Some of my um, uh, my best teams at the moment have just over 110,000 on my uh, main account. So yeah, 110k is high CC. I think on JP, like 120k plus is high CC. But they have uh, 85 level cap and more cosmetics. But yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of additional power that you can get in even an ungeared man. Yo, what's up the mighty K? Hopefully you're doing well. What do I watch? That time I got reincarnated as a slime on C and I watch it Funimation, my dude. Funimation is uh, where I like to watch dubbed anime and Crunchyroll for subbed anime. Depending on uh, depending on the kind of mood I'm in, mean, you know. Sometimes I just want to like chill and watch something in the uh, the background. Uh, oh, I think we find Gotha here very shortly. Is Escanor King go through a Merlin team still good? Yeah, still really, really good, especially in ungeared PvP. It's more dominant in um, ungeared in comparison to geared. But you do need to uh, make sure... I, ideally, you want to go first on that team. So it works a lot better if you've got, like, massive gear, massive CC. Or, sorry, not massive gear, massive... Um, you know, all the advantages that you can have in terms of, like, the association and character levels and awakening... But yeah, that team's still really, really good. But thank you very much, Powerful, for the super chat. Certainly do appreciate it. It's on Netflix. It's not on UK Netflix, man. Damn. But apparently it's on some Netflix. Uh, right, let's go for this, this, and then this. Ghost is mad easy if you got Galland. Oh, bro, I don't have Galland. I don't know if I've got a friend that's got Galland, though, that we can borrow. 
I didn't even think about using Gallon for that Gotha, though. Interesting. I might try that on my main account for a little bit of fun. <laughs> I find all these levels really weird, man, just because they're like such large rooms. Don't know if anybody else had that as well. I just remember like all these fighting stages, they just feel like they, they feel so large and so empty. That just feels like really peculiar because I know you fight go through over there. But I guess these like stages don't really have like any other use outside from these uh, fights. So <laughs> didn't really, you know, need to put too much effort into them, I, I would assume. Making good uh, good pace for Gotha though, man. We've managed to get this far in 50 minutes. I swear it took us like um, hour and a bit, two hours. But I, I guess I was watching all the uh, cutscenes on the main account. Gotha is easy, beaten with zero retries. Hopefully we can have some of that luck as well. I think the, the problem that um, a lot of people have with Gotha is he's a bit of a step up uh, from Hendrickson. And if you just continue on the story and reach him... And you haven't taken the time to upgrade your gear uh, and upgrade your characters as well, then it might be a bit more tricky. Gotha was the hardest fight for you, second king. Got a cheese run with Green Melly after 15 tries. Yeah, he does hit like a bit of a truck though. It's fair play, man. Fair play. Gotha is definitely one of those bosses a lot of people struggle on though. So yeah, I, I, I'll i see how we find him today. I remember, I think we got him down in like a trial two on my main account. But I had um, uh, better gear and also uh, green Meliodas. We got Escanor, Matt. Escanor should serve a similar function. But he also does have the disadvantage as well. So I'm not too sure exactly how, uh, how it's going to work. But we'll see. Okay. Um, hopefully we can get some Hauser cards, man. Two house of cards and we win no house of cards. <laughs> Great. Um, oh, maybe we've got enough for the Escanor cards just to get everyone down. Let's let's ambitiously try with that. Let's line all these up. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, not quite. Oh, that's that is a, a mild annoyance there. Okay, right. So we use this. I'm going to move this one over here. And then I'm just going to move this. Then next turn, let's go for... The alt there. Actually, can we just... Gosh, ambitious play. All the Hauser moves. Win game. Yeah, it's too ambitious, man. Too ambitious. Thing is, my ha my Hauser is not like the one on the main account. I'm just so used to like pressing a Hauser card, bro. Just everything dies. That's why you got to build that pierce rate set. Oh, okay, let's go for this, uh, this, and I think we have enough damage to get this one down. Okay, that man's easily clapped. Is the gold going to do it here? Oh, not quite. Yeah, okay, this is going to fall a little bit short then, I assume. Damn, these are some beefy guards. Okay, at least they don't really have enough damage to kill anybody, I think. We'll just go for all of the cleave cards. And we're sorted, lads. We're sorted through that stage. I remember there were a few of these uh, stages. I think there might be one or two more before we fight Gotha. Let me have a look. I know there's a big, big list of stuff after this. We find another Diane, maybe. Am I running our gear? Yeah, I've got all uh, our gear on the right hand side. And we've got uh, 
uh, a building SSR set on the left hand side for all characters. But really, like, Eskinor has the best one. Hauser's got uh, a decent one. Uh, Liz Hawk, she doesn't really have a, a great set, unfortunately. Um, is this the, the troublesome Gotha man? Th this is the one, right? Okay, let's go for it. Who do we want to use here? I think... Do I bring in my king? I've totally forgotten how this one goes. I think I'm going to go for red uh, barn. Let's go for... Uh, I just want to see if I can do it with the characters that I got. And let's have the uh, the healing red Elizabeth on the sub slot. So let me just change around the associations very quickly. Let's get... Um, this one and Matrona here. I'll just chuck in Meliodas here. I just quickly need to move um, Houses set onto Barn. I think we can do this, man. Oh, we've also got an upgrade on his ult as well. Do I want to go for it? Mm. Let's uh, let's try and not go for it, man. Just because I know he doesn't have too many too many uses outside of. Uh, being an MVP in certain parts of the story. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, I can just switch a gear set on Elizabeth and then I get to go first. Yo, made it to Master V this morning. Dude, congratulations, man. Now the, the Grind Champion 1 begins, bro. Best of luck, best of luck. But massive congrats there, William. Um, okay, Gila? No, Gila. What gear set am I missing? Oh yeah, this one. Uh, right. What food as well would be useful here? Okay, so we're going to try lifesteal food. Because usually lifesteal food, man, it's a pretty good time. Very often. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this one turns out, though. Oh, what a fantastic loading screen there. Great shot, lads. Great shot. SR Red Barn over Green Coin Shop Barn. Ah, SR Red Barn. He's good for all the stuff in the story, bro. That alt drain, you know, he's pretty much like super budget Merlin. Oh, no. Okay, I think he's got um, <laughs> double golden finger guns here. Can he also, like, drain my ult really easily? I think, actually, no, I can drain his ult. So I think we still rush ult on Escanor. Can Escanor kill this Gotha, though? That's the question. Okay, nice. So we got double drains. He's going to attack the Sable, but then we can cleanse that off. Oh, he does hit like a bit of a truck, this lad, doesn't he? Okay, right. Let's go for a cleanse. Let's drain here. Actually, fire off this. Go for cleanse. And then... It's a slightly more efficient play. Then we rob him of a turn. And we don't get drained by the ult. Do we just die from the ult next turn, man? What does what does this do? No, if we we didn't die if we kill him, man. Mmm. Yeah, not gonna be quite enough. And then we get drained off this. Red barn is a hundred percent dead, bro. Mmm. We might still be able to do this. Just that constant attack disable that is a uh, bit of a bit of a nuisance, eh? Okay. Maybe we just go for like um, King Escanor. Maybe maybe he's just dead. I think. Yeah, that's going to be plenty of damage. Well, well, well. Guys, I don't know if anybody's any, anybody knows this right. 
this is breaking news right now. Escanor, pretty good character, man. Certainly not too bad. You know, he does does what he needs to, gets the job done. I don't know if anybody's discovered that, but you know, spread the word around. Works all right for certain stuff, man. He's not not too bad for the story. Surprisingly, having a, a very consistent 100k plus ult has its uses. Just in case you didn't know. Is Forest Guardian King good? Is that the, the big boy? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I haven't I haven't played either of the large kings myself. I know the, the blue one gets used in some like troll teams in PvP. <laughs> but yeah, wow, I, I can't believe we managed to one-shot that Gotha, man. That was cool. That was definitely cool. So, make friends with somebody that has a maxed out Escanor, and you've won the game. Congratulations. It could not be more easy than that, lads. Escanor on the free-to-play account is 2-6. So yeah, the 6-6 the, the six, six one on my main account with my gear, bro, that's like that's crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. It's very consistently um, anywhere between about like 200k to... If it crits, I've seen like 340k plus on Escanor's ult. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's reliable, it's fantastic, we love it. Right, what do we have here? Okay, we're just cleaving down a few of these uh, mobs here. So let's get Hauser back in the fray. Uh, put Red Barn back on the bench. Where's Hauser? There he is. Let's get Gila back in the mix as well. And I need to quickly transfer some gear over, and I think we're good to go. I think we're going to leave King in the team, because I do need him for a few uh, bits coming up. I think he's really good for the, um... I, just, I know there's like a red demon. I think we fight like a, a weird version of a red and grey demon. I remember... I think you need Hauser in the team. Oh, no, you need Gil Thunder and Grimoire here. Okay, I'm going to get uh, Gil Thunder here, and then we'll borrow somebody's... Uh, the love lady green one that's given to us and chuck him in the sub slot. Sweet man, sweet. We should gain do a lot more MCOC or Grand Cross. It depends. Like Grand Cross is very, uh, very new game in comparison. So I think Grand Cross has more going for it at the moment. But if you're a new player, there's there's a lot to do in Marvel Contest of Champions. So I, th I think both games both games have their merits. But at the moment, I am completely addicted to Grand Cross. Free to play and you have 150k? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Will Kalish. I certainly appreciate the kind words. That's uh, that's very, very nice, man. Very nice. Certainly has uh, made my evening, that incredibly kind message. Big up, C, and do you think I can do some sort of beginner tips video? I want to uh, I want to do that at some point. It's definitely on the list. Because I... I um, because I've been playing this um, uh, game for a while... Um, and I'm, I'm known for playing Marvel Contest of Champions. It's made like a lot of players come over from that game. So there are so many people that are like, see, dude, we need a beginner's guide, man. We need to, we need to know the basics. I know there are some pretty good ones out there at the moment. But I'd, li I'd like to do my own take on it as well from making a free to play account in the last few weeks. So yeah, that will be coming out at some point. All right, let's go for the ultimate there. It's annoying that, um, what is it? Uh, you know, Escanor. Escanor can't be buffed, dude. That's like the worst thing about the character. Is that unique? That unique's really nice in the right scenario, but it's annoying that he can't gain buffs. <laughs> Just because he can't get, like, Gil Thunder's damage amplifier, or, like, Arthur's when he's at full ult. And yeah, I just want to, bro, imagine if he could get buffed up, man. Those ults would be stupid. Be crazy in all sorts of scenarios. But I guess it's like uh, a little bit balanced that he can't be <laughs> buffed, I would assume. Uh, okay, let's go for um, 
attack buff than these two alts. Sorted, mate. Well, I do chapter 8 today. Um, I'll, I'm going to try and get to episode 131, but I probably don't have the time this evening to go too deep into uh, chapter 8. So yeah, I think we're probably just going to do to uh, 131. I forgot exactly where that is in the story. I know somebody probably typed it out in chat earlier, but I do apologize. I missed that one. A slightly inefficient play there, but it, it's all good. Yeah, Red Escanor, he starts with like a massive health buff, right? Like 50% additional health. That guy's like a beefcake when he lands, man. I'm excited for Red Escanor, bro. He looks crazy. My farming team I use for my main account. I use, um, what is it? Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, Hauser, uh, Green Lizhawk, and Green Balm. Are the f the three I use on my main account, but you can use uh, what is it, Deanne in place of Green Barn. But Green Barn, he he's okay, man. As soon as like Demon Melly comes out, it'll probably be like Hauser, Liz Hawk, and uh, Demon Melly. Right, what what does this guy do again? Oh, yeah, so he's he can't be petrified. He can't find him in the normal way. Mm. Okay, we got Gil Thunder, we got Hauser. Um, I think we maybe just stick with this team and chuck like Red Liz on the sub. I think if I move some gear sets around, I can get enough CC to go first, I think. So that's transfer. Um, Kings, maybe? Or does SR Lizhawk still have stuff? Okay, I think I'll just get Kings over here. Because that will give me enough CC to be able to um, uh, go first in this one. It's a good way to counter Escanor Alt Rush and Ungeared. Um, Kingbrum? <laughs> Probably not the recommendation that people want to hear me say, but Kingbrum is, um, yeah, pretty pretty decent for dealing with that. Especially if you use the alt food as well, because first turn you can just always upgrade uh, the water to Hellbrum, then you can drain, and then you can uh, probably seal the king. And then if you use two cards on Halbrim, you start with Vault Rush stuff, you get second, then you can fire off Halbrim's ult next turn, win game. So yeah, that is the not not the option that some people want to hear me say, but it is it is the way one of the ways to counter an ungeared. In geared, one of the most effective counters is like an all red mono team. All red mono teams can work alright. I was I was playing with like Gila in Ungeared, <laughs> all red mono team, uh, the other day, and that wasn't working like too badly. But Gila's, Gila's a bit of a meme. Okay. I think we just go for all the Hauser cards here. We didn't really... I want Escanor cards, man. I was hoping we get, like, one Escanor card here. Didn't get any, bro. So I think we just go for the Hauser cards just so we can maximize uh, draw here. And then next turn, hopefully we can draw a single Escanor card. Ideally multiple. And we got no Escanor cards. Absolute cheeks on the draw. Um, okay, we just rush light both alts then. And then I think we win game. So let's go for... Actually, I can just go for this. Merges that, gets us both alts there. I don't know if we die from, like, Red Demon's ult here or not. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we're just about <laughs> alive. So Red Team is a bit, bit pesky, man. I remember, I, I think I actually like lost to this guy on my main account the first time I was doing it. So if you get to this guy and get a little bit whooped, don't feel too bad. Because you do need to bring Gil Thunder and Hauser on the team somewhere. 
But hey, they, they worked out all right, man. They're not too bad for it. Well, I think uh, the red uh, Liz uh, on the sub for the heal in there was a, a good shout for sure. The I think it's the most fun unit in Seven Deadly Sins. Most fun? Oh, I don't know. I I do like I do like Hauser just because like he <laughs> just feels like a freaking god to play, man. Like on the main account gear, he's just stupid to play. Eskinal is really fun to play. I feel like uh, with any characters in any game, though, there's always a level of um, what is it? Uh, fatigue. So a character will be really really fun for a while, and then a new character will come out and it'll be like, oh, it's a new toy. I want to play with that one. So yeah. I did, uh, still really enjoyed Hauser and Eskinal, though. But I don't know, who, I'll, I'll throw that one back to chat, man. Who do you, uh, think are some of the most enjoyable characters to play in Seven Deadly Sins? What, what are the picks for the most satisfying? I think Green Meliodas, when you get the counter, is really satisfying, but the counter, the good counter takes a while to line up. It's got specific scenarios. First try means free to play over pay to win confirmed. That's it, man. That's it. Oh, th this is a great play of Eskinal, bro. This is the dream play right here. Where you draw a friggin' merger on the first turn. And then you can just go straight into ultimate. This is why Eskinal's a beast, bro. You don't need no apple pies. You don't need no Merlin. Get that silver merger, additional walk gauge from that attack, and you are laughing, my dudes. We're about to uh, two turn KO this absolute mug. There we go. We, uh, we don't need to use the attack buff as well, because again, Eskimor can't get buffs while he's at full walk gauge. Number one story character, boys. Number one story character. All right, let's crack on. Somebody, somebody is telling me on the tier list, bro, the tier list comment section. Sometimes I re read some, like, really good stuff in the comment section, like, like, some really insightful stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't consider that about the character. But somebody told me, like, legit, I think it's like, this this morning or yesterday morning, they're like, Eskinal's trash for story. Why is he a five? Like, bro, you, have you played Eskinal in the story, man? Eskinal's, like, clear, five out of five, god tier for story. He's brokenly good. Stupid. Um, my Hauser gear. My Hauser gear isn't great on this account at all, dude. Like, it's just a really, really basic attack set. There is nothing special. It's not even fully upgraded. So yeah, you can have a look at my uh, main account. Um, uh, Hauser gear. If you want to see some really stacked stuff, and that is um, on the the channel I uploaded a little bit earlier today. When I start my own knighthood, I decided I'm not going to start my own knighthood just because it's a lot of it's a lot of maintenance and admin, and I don't really have the time to stay on top of it, running kind of two accounts and also uh, two YouTube channels. So it's just uh, yeah, it's like I, I really just don't have the the time to uh, dedicate to. So I joined somebody else's knighthood, man, and they've they've been very very welcoming. It's like my morning star video. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dominic, that is a classic throwback there. When Blue Demon Melly and Blue Lily come out, can I make a gear guide? I will share everything about those two characters as soon as I learn a bit more about them. Oh, I think, yeah, we should change. I don't know why we've still got Gil Thunder on here. Don't really need him, eh? Fight this, uh, this massive lad. Probably take out this man, chuck in uh, King for some of this stuff. I, I forgot what's coming up. I think it's like a load of giant fights. Um, and we've got a, a Gallant fight. Whoa, this dude hits like a freight train. Are you laughing? He uh, He's retaining debuffs though, so I think he can be debuffed. But, bro, I think I'm dead next turn, man. 
I think we rush Eskinor's ult anyway. That's like our play to win. I don't know why I really went for the attack increase there. Because it just immediately got invalidated. Am I about to get spanked really hard? Oh my goodness. The, the server lag in this game is ridiculous, guys. I was just playing a match there. I'm pretty sure I was winning. At least the best of my match. Just crashed out of the blue. Unbelievable. They net marble net marble need to fix their game, boys. This is this is un unacceptable right now. I uh, I I'm probably going to be leaving a one star review after uh, today's live stream, man. I th I think it's really the only uh, the only acceptable response at this point. But uh, King is a good character, and you should bring in King because he can CC people, and CC is fantastic. Not even uh, Gustav. I, I was thinking about bringing Gustav as well. I think Gustav is maybe maybe a bit a bit too much overkill there. <laughs> Happens to you every time as well. I'm glad glad to know I'm not the only one that suffers from these horrible game crashing issues, man. Every character can shine in Whale's hands. I don't think you've watched half the PvP videos on this channel, bro. I'll tell you, some champions are booty. They are really, really bad. Hendrickson is uh, horrible. Blue Slater as well. He doesn't work very well in PvP at all, man. A lot of uh, a fair few characters out there. Hey, this this is it. This is what we like to see right here. As long as Eskinor doesn't get one turn KO'd here, which might happen. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, let's go in for all the damage that we can muster here. Oh, should be it, man. Should be it. Perfect, mate. Perfect. But again, you can CC that guy. So if you have trouble on him, because the damage is a little bit, a little bit nutty. Uh, freeze characters, good stuff. Why are these guys celebrating, mate? Who, who are they? Where did they come from? Part of the story, man. We just been skipping through the story today, though. You don't have Hendrickson. Consider yourself blessed. That's uh, that's really it. Oh, I think we've got a uh, matchup against the uh, actual Matrona. I just realized that, uh, what was it? Matro I realized the other day that Matrona was uh, Deanne's, I, I think the name she enters the fight festival in, in season one. It's like, she goes under the guise of Matrona, but Matrona is, um, yeah, this this giant man. The, did she raise her up? It's like a tribute to her. That was nice. That was nice. I forgot the exact relation though, so I just feel like a bit of a mug at the moment. Um, can we do, does that disable attack skills? Oh, just remove stances. Um, go for this anyway. I'm hoping we get a gold merger here, man. If we can draw, yeah. Perfect. Okay, that's sick. That's really good. I think Matrona's just come out on JP. I think some people have done showcase videos today. I haven't had a chance to watch them yet. But I've heard she's... Um, I think I was reading on Twitter, man, that she's a bit a bit booey. I think she's got like a passive that increases like giant stats by 25% or something like that. It doesn't work in PvP. It's like the only place you really want it to work. <laughs> so yeah, that seems a bit weird. A hey, perfect mate, perfect. That's it, the sensei. Thank you for educating me there, dead man. 
Yeah, it's been a while. I need to rewatch the entirety of season two. I rewatched all the uh, the Escanor scenes uh, just before the release of Escanor, and they were they were so good, bro. They're so good. Escanor just he just the old season two man. Right, what do we have here? Just need to chuck a Deanna in, right? Let's go for that one. Oh, actually, no, we can't put that King on Association. Just Meliodas on Association. Should be good. Sword, mate, sword. For Bork, why are you saying something so controversial? Yeah, so true in chat. I, I do, I like YouTube live streams. One of the reasons, I know this is a really, like, simple reason um, why I like YouTube live streams is everybody's got their own little, like, profile icon. Just makes it easier to, like, spot people in chat. Because <laughs> I just start associating people with the, the name and also the icon. Just easier to uh, keep up with chat as well at times. But I'm also a little bit bad at keeping up with chat. Um... Do green green more video. I'd like to at some point. I need to build up a uh, a defense set in order to really like have some proper trolling with him. So yeah, I, I want to do that at some point. Um, there's no play I like really like here. Let me just go for this though. Question is, do I alt now or next wave? I think I just use the Hauser cards to finish off this wave. The Hauser cards going to be enough? Ambitiously hoping. Oh, I was hoping uh, they'd be able to cleave down that one. But hey, there's only one left. And we can just have all the ultimates for the final turn, so that, that works out all right. Let's just go for a heal here as well. Or maybe I should have gone for Escanors. Ah, it doesn't matter too much. I reckon King and Hauser should have enough damage between them, hopefully, to get this wave down. Right, let's nuke this big fella. And then we'll go for the the big house of cleave. Um, is it going to be enough? I don't think for the middle lad, but the other two should die. Okay. And then next turn we can just use the Escanor cards, King's Petrify, and then Duke with Escanor Zolt. So yeah, well, it worked out in the end. When is the 100 day anniversary coming? 100 days, which is, uh, I think it's like two and a bit weeks from now. Two weeks and five days. But it, it might, like, as an event, I don't know if it starts earlier and then, like, goes up to 100 days. We don't really know all the details yet, but it, it's sometime in the next, uh, like, one to three weeks-ish. But just have the expectation of, like, two to three weeks. But it, it may come sooner, but again, I'm not too sure. Nobody knows exactly. I saw red Gloxina and King looks like a peasant to him. As in terms of the visual of the character or how he functions. Red Gloxina looks uh, looks flashy, bro. Looks very flashy. Like those, uh, those wings are so extra, man. I was watching some JP PvP videos. He's a character that like, you know, really stands out. A mono blue team. Yeah, I'd like to do that at some point. I think when uh, Lilia Mel D Meliodas come out, they're both blue units. Chuck Marmot on. Be laughing, mate. We'll be laughing. So yeah, I would like to do that at some point for sure. Um, all right, pardon me. Let's chuck her in there, and then let's go for Meliodas on the association, and let's uh, begin.
England, my friend. England. What's the best way to get SSR equipment to salvage during half stamina? You gotta farm it, bro. You gotta get um five star with your towns and then farm it uh right now. So yeah, just go around like a town and uh you know when they have once you're like five um five is it five star village friendship? You you know what I mean. Um, then you can like do eight of a stage and get a guaranteed piece and just keep rotating around like five different stages And that's the uh, the best way for uh, energy invested to get SSR gear Oh mate, I'm blooming hot It's still so warm in England this evening Okay, next turn I think we rush um, Eskinol Zol, unless he's in fear of dying. I, th I think we'll be fine though. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, so we move this around, then we move it around again, then we press the card. Ugh, this game is so hard sometimes. England isn't an accent. You sound like you're from Kent-ish. Oh, like as in part... Well, <laughs> sorry, I, I thought you were trying to say, um, like, uh, what country I was from as, as opposed to what part of England. Uh, Kent, uh, I'm no, nowhere near... I'm a few hours off Kent. A few hours off Kent. Like, uh, you're, you're at the right half of the country. It's definitely bottom half of the country. I think it's not, <laughs> quite obviously, not the top half of the country. <laughs> but yeah, not, not Ken, unfortunately. England does have, it does have some wacky weather for sure, man. Um... How do you get a lot of gems or villages five stars and finish story need help? It's just all the all the daily stuff, man. There's no like massive way, you know, once you reach the end of all of the stuff that you've done, it's just like getting your PvP rank up, getting the gems uh, on a weekly basis there. Just following all the, the daily stuff to do. Events tab, any gems that do pop up there. Um, your knighthood check-in and all that fun stuff. But again, the, the way the Netmar will want you to get gems after you've farmed most of the free ones is either just be very patient and slowly get them, or spend lots of money and buy them. Alright, what do these skills do again? Okay, spike on all enemies, and this one does... Uh, sever damage. I think we go for... Um, Hmm. Oh, we're taunted on Galland. Okay, so we've got a new Galland down first. Okay, nice. I think we just cleave him, man. Yeah, next turn, let's go double cleave. Try and maximize that damage there. Get him down as quick as we can. Are these Patronus cards on JP, or does she have different cards? These cards look cool, man. What's the ult? Disables attack skills. Right, we've got to go for Galland. Uh, let's go for this. And then let's just cleave again. Ah, cool. Playing Mah Matrona uh, ahead of our time, man. It's not too bad. Yeah, I can I can see why like her cards, like spike and sever stuff is is always very situational, at least from my experience with it so far. Hopefully that gets Gallon down. Then we just got to deal with this fella. Dude, I've forgotten his name. I feel so bad. I know he's the... 
One that's uh, knocking about with Derriere. Derriere? Is that what I said? Derriere? <laughs> Sounds so weird when I say it out loud, man. Derriere? Is that? That's that's how you say it right, Derriere? Oh, I'm on speed. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I, uh, that name wasn't, like, even in my memory, man. Uh, and people have just spelled it in, like, ten different ways. <laughs> I'm looking at chat, and, like, every person spelled it a different way. Uh, oh, fantastic, man. Fantastic. He simps derriere. That's it, mate. Oh, I have, I have watched the anime. I just, um, just like a, a year ago since I probably watched Seven Deadly Sins season two. So many characters in this game, bro. So even when I was learning it, I was forgetting all sorts of names. And plus, like me and the missus, we watch way too much anime, bro. There's like, probably a good thousand plus anime characters, and I'm not amazing with like regular names <laughs> as it is. The the rubbish, mate. Okay, where are we off to now? I forgot how this uh, next bit goes. Does, does it end? I'm saving up uh, all the tickets for the next summer video next week, by the way. But that's nice that we got another guaranteed SSR ticket, man. Ooh. Maybe it was 121 and not 131? <gasps> yeah, we did it! Okay, sick, man. Yeah, we got level uh, 75 characters now, so I think we'll, uh, you know, take our first character to 75. I think we got the materials to do that. Like, already via Final Boss King, man, and just Deathmatch Invite, I've already got 145 Demonic Beast Howlex's ear. So that's fantastic. Also, I love that the ears and all the Demon materials. Um, they're just all over the place, mate. Spinners, shops. I didn't realize I had that many, bro. I thought I had like 90, 145. That is a stack, mate. Right, there we go. 75 Escanor. Dude, he's going to be hitting like a friggin' truck, my dudes. We gave for King as well. Can we got... Oh, okay. I need, uh... Oh, I need some more red demon materials before I can, uh... Limit break king. We, we got no shortage of pendants though, which is very very nice. We just need to farm a lot more um, what Was it friggin boss battles, but Escanor had to be the first one up there lads just way way too good But that is it for chapter 7 I believe uh, So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop there for tonight You know, it's almost 11 o'clock need to go spend a bit of time with the missus lads keep her happy uh, So thank you all very much for tuning in to uh, today's live stream. I certainly do appreciate it uh, and if you did enjoy today's stream, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.